Just how big an investigation was this, Kevin? Well, Alex, Operation Linden looked at police conduct in 91 investigations between 1997 and 2013. They examined 265 allegations and 44 complaints from survivors. And after all that, they've concluded that there is still work to do and they've made 12 recommendations to South Yorkshire Police. Uh, the IOPC Director of Major Investigations, Steve Noonan, said that some of the problems still exist today and Rotherham child sexual exploitation survivor Elizabeth gave me her reaction to that. Really deeply concerned. Um, children are meant to be our future in this town and what we're going to see is generation after generation of people being affected by CSE. We've got to stamp out and stand up to these perpetrators and say no more. Am I 100% convinced that the police are up to it? No, I'm not. Now, the IOPC says that South Yorkshire Police haven't been recording sexual crimes correctly even since 2014. Can you tell us more about that? Well, yes, Alex, that's quite a shocking fact, isn't it? The IOPC said in their words, many, there were many instances where crimes were not recorded where they should have been, including reports of sexual assault or sexual activity with a child. Now, they did say things have improved since 2014, but still say, and again, these are their words, there is significant under-recording of crimes committed against vulnerable children. Uh, officers and staff were also leading child sexual exploitation investigations in the past without having the right skills and expertise, and the IOPC is recommending more training on that. I mean, there's also concerns that the systems still aren't working well. What, what on earth's going on there? Well, to give you one example, Alex, let's say that South Yorkshire Police uh, stops a car with an older man and a young girl inside it. Now, uh, this is one issue that the IOPC have highlighted, and they say that South Yorkshire's traffic police officers do know the right questions to ask, um, but the problem they have is that if that car has come into South Yorkshire from another area, the officers can only check the data that's on the National Police computer. They don't have the access to data from other forces, which might show if a child is in immediate risk of danger. And again, uh, Elizabeth, our child sexual exploitation survivor in Rotherham, uh, gave me her reaction to that. It was one of the children that went forward to the IOPC as an adult about being trafficked from Rotherham to Bristol. Um, when I was in Bristol, when I got dumped, um, we got told it were a taxi service. The police are not a taxi service. Um, and there was never no return to home interview or anything like that. So that does worry me, to be fair, with the, with the trafficking of children. How are they finding safety? How are they... What from the police to this report? Well, South Yorkshire's Deputy Chief Constable Tim Forbes said in a statement that they fully accept the findings, adding this is a journey of continuous improvement. I've also been speaking to the South Yorkshire Police and Crime Commissioner, Dr Alan Billings, and I asked him if he is confident that South Yorkshire Police is today recording the number of sexual assaults against women and children correctly. Well, I think this is what South Yorkshire Police need to look at. This is the criticism in the report. I think they've made huge progress and I think probably they have done a great deal to ensure that recording is accurate. Oh, I never feel that we've got a full picture in the sense that we're totally satisfied and everything's perfect and wonderful, not, not in the least. There will always be child sexual exploitation, sadly. There will always be those people who seek to prey on vulnerable young children.